Hey guys, so before this video gets started, um, I'm not entirely sure why my mics are sounding so really just horrible lately. It, uh, I don't know how this one's going to sound now because I adjusted it a little bit, but I already recorded the segment twice and it sounded like garbage. Um, but basically before the video gets started, I wanted to let you guys know that the mic sounds awful all the way through the video. Uh, so in the beginning, you hear a lot of rustling around from the mic, which is on my phone, and that's just going to happen. There's not a whole lot I could do with that because my phone's my phone. But the second half of the video, which is the gameplay, is recorded with the lavalier mic, and it doesn't sound great because of the way I had it set up. Uh, the problem is I didn't set up this mic properly for the video, and I still haven't done that, but I know what I want to do next time. I just need to actually do it. So it, it'll be all set next time, and the audio's fine. You can hear me just fine. It's just a little bit more muffled and not quite as good as it should be. But uh, yeah, so that's all I gotta say. I just figured I'd add this little bit on there at the beginning. But anyways, enjoy the video. Okay, this is really cool. So, I got two things. One of them I got earlier this week is this. It's a Akaso EK7000 action camera. We're gonna put that in my brother's race car, and I'll use it for cinematic stuff like that. That's cool. But I just got this mystery box today, and I know exactly what's inside it. It's not actually a mystery box. This is a Thrustmaster Red Ferrari PC steering wheel to use for racing games and such, and I'm so excited to unbox it. So the lighting's gonna be probably be a little off, but oh well, we'll have to deal with it. Um, also, <coughs> I'm gonna be coughing throughout the video. That was just on time, that was not intentional. I have a bit of a cold right now, so we're gonna have to deal with that. But, big surprise, this is a box inside of a box. This is cool, so this is a steering wheel and pedals, and I'm kind of nervous because I really hope that it works. It should. But we'll see. Okay, we got that box out. Okay, there goes a piece of cardboard. Let's see what's on the inside of this. I, I really am looking forward to this because I just recently started getting into NASCAR Heat 4 and I really want to like race with a wheel. Also, if you saw my NASCAR live stream, I couldn't get it out of gear because I had screwed with the settings. Didn't realize I changed it to manual and not automatic. And the buttons that work as X and Y on keyboard, which X and Y are the shift buttons in the game, did not work to shift my car. So I couldn't get it out of uh, manual because I didn't realize that I had switched it. So that was fun. But yeah, so I want to actually use the steering wheel though. That's going to be twice as fun. We've got instructions right here piece of cardboard got the bracket for the bottom to mount which I'm really hoping fits on my desk we'll see we've got the pedals here which okay that didn't work out very well but those feel really cool I, I'm excited for that and then I believe the last piece is the wheel itself this looks awesome so this is actually really cool, like it's um, it's more plasticky on the top with like a carbon fiber type feel. On the sides it's more of like a rubber type feel. The um, the buttons feel really good. The, the These back here are buttons as well that you can use. It feels really cool and it has, um, this is something not all of them have, but it has like an auto centering feature. So if you ever play an arcade version of a racing game with the steering wheel, especially if it's NASCAR, it is always centered where if you let go, it'll turn back to the center, which is awfully convenient if you ask me. Also, this is supposed to have a vibrating thing on it, so it's more realistic. I don't know how accurate that is, but we'll see. Uh, these buttons down here, yeah, they all feel um, pretty cool. They all feel pretty good. This is, uh, this is going to be cool, I think. I hope. This would suck to not work. So this is basically the mount for the bottom. It's got these which adjust. And there's a hole in it there, and then there's this little thing that you use to twist it. And it twists on to right there at the bottom of the wheel. And basically that's how it, it stays on your desk. I hope mine will work for that. I hope the way it's set up, it should be fine. But we'll see. And these are the pedals. It's it's a little different than a car, because from a car, the um, pedals are coming down. Here they're coming up. Yeah, uh, but that shouldn't stop it. They have different sensitivities. You can actually change the sensitivity on the pedals themselves, which I think is crazy. Brake pedal, gas pedal, and they've got a little, like, uh, I don't know what you would call this here. And they've got, like, uh, a three-dimensional platform here so your feet don't slip. 
and in case you're using this on a hardwood floor, there's also little rubber pads on these. And there's also rubber pads on the bottom of the wheel itself, too. Okay, so we've got the steering wheel all set up. You see there's the light indicating that it's on. It's clamped on. Not perfectly secure, but pretty good to the point where it's not going to move enough. Um, and as a matter of fact, I could probably alter it slightly from what I did. This is just for a first run to test it out. Got the pedals down here. The, the cable is run behind. I know my cable management sucks. Forgive me. My cable for the pedals runs up behind. Plugs in right there. Then the wheel itself plugs into the back of my computer. And we're going to play some NASCAR Heat 4. So let's just transition over to that. And then let's see how that goes. Okay, we're just going to get started here. And we're just going to we're gonna send it. And we're just going to hope that this will work. To be honest, I have no idea if it will. But we're just going to go from here. Also, sorry, the mic's not going to be perfect. I have fans going. Plus, I'm on the lavalier mic, which is sitting on my Shure SM48S. Because my mics just aren't set up for this type of thing yet. So this is what we're just going to do for now. It's going to be not quite as good, but we'll just have to deal with it for now. So let's go... Let's go Talladega again, just because I've already won there, so it'll I'll be used to it. Cool thing about practice with this game is it gets you to hold your line, get you practice with that. Yeah, I think we finally found our mark. I personally always choose the in-car cam because it's just so much more realistic. I can't hold my line with a guy inside. I probably could have, but yeah, I have the tra the uh, not the transponder, the uh, the spotter on because I I personally think that adds like a completely different realistic element to it, and it's, I think it's a lot of fun having that on there. Plus, it's helpful because I I always do the in-car view. And you obviously, within car view, you have limited um, sight. But they do give you rear view mirrors in this game. I don't remember them doing that in NASCAR 2010 for the Wii, which is what we had that before this that we would race with. Alright, we are good now. Okay, so my brakes work. That's good. We are good now to end the practice. You have to hit a certain goal. It's about 50 seconds around the, the, the track, at least for this one. I don't remember for other ones. I know it's the same for Daytona, though. Yes, congratulations. You beat your practice goal. Would you like to advance to the next session? Yes, which is qualifying. I don't have qualifying set so that it's by stage, but you can do that. For me, you just have to go out, take your warm-up lap to get up to speed, and then take a second lap to try to get your time to qualify. So far, I've only qualified first. Now that I say that, it probably won't happen. But basically, you have to get it in about 50 seconds. Is about to qualify first, I believe. I might be wrong. This is also for the only two tracks I played, which is Talladega and Daytona. I only did two because I wanted to wait till I got the wheel to play extensively. Alright, here we go. Let's give this a try. I really want my dad and my older brother to try this because my my dad um, was a short track race driver almost 20 years ago and my older brother actually is running a car now four cylinder it's actually at White Mountain Motorsports Park in uh, North Woodstock New Hampshire it's a really nice place <coughs> just a weekend or two ago I actually went into the pits there for the first time it was really cool I really think they would like this yeah, it's it's uh it's a little iffy, but mostly because I'm not used to it yet. And if I'm not performing perfectly, it is also because I have been playing on a keyboard, which is with arrow keys, by the way, which is a totally different thing. And basically, if I didn't explain it well enough before, holding your line is is following the arrows. Okay, I guess you get two practice laps. Or I guess you get a... I, I guess it's that you get one that, to get you up to speed. And one to get you practiced. And then the actual one. A little squirrely. I'm still not used to it. A little bit of lag. That's, that's okay. 
And for the record, this game is only $20 if you decide to buy it. A little low. Yeah, we got it. We did. We got. We qualified for first. That's awesome. Logano, Elliot, bunch of people. Okay. Anyways, let's let's hop on to a race. These these are are tougher. All right, going green. Here we go. Perfect. I really hope the audio for this works. I, I don't know. I didn't test enough beforehand. Hopefully it'll it'll be fine. Also, I changed the, the, the lap time, so it's going to be 13 laps now. You can change how long the laps are. It was set to 8 before. But I may have possibly changed it so I could have more fun and do longer races. I've broken out from the pack, so I should be just about fine. Because if you can break out from the pack, then you are pretty much set. And starting first helps. Uh, in Daytona, I had a little bit more competition. And uh, I actually wasn't terribly far from throwing it in the first couple laps. But I was able to get back in the first, um, break out from the pack, and keep myself in check. Yeah, this, uh, using a wheel really does genuinely add a different element to it. There's an, there's an element with a wheel that you just don't get without one. Of, like, the actual turning and, like, the smoothness of it and everything. Because, like, this is very smooth. The only reason I'm a little rough is because I have never done this before on this game, on this computer, with this wheel. I've done it on arcade versions, but that's it. I really hope this content is semi-entertaining to some of you. For me, this is like the coolest thing. Like, I, I love racing and racing games and everything. And uh, I would have a race car of my own if I could afford it. Unfortunately, I can't because I'd like to move out of my parents' house. So, that's kind of preventing me from dropping several thousand dollars on a race car. But this is honestly so much fun. And this honestly will do the job. I was always one of those kids that, um, while playing NASCAR games, you would go the opposite direction and just crash everybody. Or, really, even just going the normal direction. And I would always crash everyone. And I probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. I'm, t I'm still trying to hold my line just for practice purposes. But I'm far enough ahead that I can see the entire number block. Of the person who who is behind me, so I, I'm honestly not terribly worried about it. Also, as you can see on the steering wheel in the game, there is the uh, the orange strip which represents the dead center. I will say the graphics in this game are top notch. Racing has always been a part of my family, and it's really cool to get to do something like this, where I'm not actually able to race a car, so I actually can just spend a lot less money and do sim racing. I'm not going to lie, this is really cool. Five to go, we're almost done. Four to go. Or uh, two to go. Something like that. I know how to count. Let me see, I don't know why my spotter stopped talking. I know why my spotter stopped talking. My spotter stopped talking to me because I there's nobody around me. Like. Oh, hit the wall a little bit. That's not what I meant to do. But yeah, to give you guys a perspective of what it looks like on the normal car setting. It looks, like, it looks really cool. I just, I for the realism, I like the in-car cam. I promise next time my mic will be better. I just didn't set it up properly this time.
There are other cameras too, so you can see behind if you need it, even though it has the rear view. But there's also other- oh, also, if you're here, you have- I don't- I didn't mention this before, but you can see I still have a rear view mirror up at the top. Which is a really nice feature. I still prefer the in-car cam though, it's still the most entertaining to me, especially when you have an actual wheel. And it's just occurred to me, we are on the last lap. Taking it home and first. Let's go for a burnout. Yeah, that's how we do it. Sweet. Race completed. In first, again, Ricky Stenhouse wins one more time. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the video there though, because I think that's a good way to stop. A nice first place win, nice chill race, uh nice unboxing, stuff like that. Awesome wheel. I'm super excited. Seriously. Get this thing. This only I got this. I'm saying this too. I got this at, at Best Buy. It is, uh, or I bought it online at Best Buy, and it only cost me seventy five dollars, including tax, no shipping, or anything. Got me here super, super quickly. Super awesome service. You you should really get this one. The Thrustmaster Ferrari. I'll link it in the description if I remember. Hopefully I do. Uh, maybe I'll make a note of it or something. Uh, they make a specific Xbox version for this as well. Probably one that works for PS4 specifically too, because this one's only PS4 or uh, PS3 and PC. But yeah, this is this is cool. You can do all your shifting with it and everything. It it's 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 cool. I just I I really like this thing. You should seriously buy one. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. This has been fun. Sorry about the other NASCAR stream. We're gonna do another one soon. Maybe this weekend. I may even do one later tonight. To be completely honest. I won't because the video is going to go up first, actually. But either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.